Right now we are starting our octopus and these are some kid volunteers on a teacher work day. I started with a gigantic, well not gigantic, just a simple packing box and we are crumbling up paper and we are taping it to make it a rounded shape. That's what we're working on here. And then we will tape it on. And then I have some workers down here taking long, narrow pieces of, this was just packing paper that we're recycling. And they wrap it tight. They crumble it up, wrap it pretty tight. Skinny from the top and then fat at the bottom. Yep, and then they're wrapping it with some tape. And these are gonna be the tentacles of the octopus. So this is the very beginning stages of creating the octopus. And this is going to be a gigantic masterpiece for our art show. But I wanted to show you how we are building this. Just out of simple free things, basically, except the um, tape that we use. And we have three rolls of tape and we won't even use probably, we won't even use a roll probably in this project. Here's the boys working on the giant eyeballs. We rolled the paper up in a ball, and then they're wrapping it round with masking tape, and we're using right here. two inch wide masking tape for the giant bulging octopus eyeballs. And those legs. Well, right now we're working on the eyeballs, so. though. Right? Yeah. And how old are you guys? Five. Five and seven, great. You did a good job on the eyeballs. So we have two eyeballs ready, and what we did was we took the box now, and we placed, once we had a bunch of paper on this side, we wanted it to be tapered and rounded. So then we put smaller patties. I told them to make hamburgers. So now it's more rounded. And actually, we've only been working on this for about 15 minutes. And there you have a rounded box now. Now there's one side that we still have left around. So we put little hamburger patties of paper here and cover them with the tape. So that's how we get the rounded armature of our box. Great, so now we have two eyeballs done and we'll be attaching our eyeballs. And we're still working on our legs. We have how many more legs? Two more legs to go? Yay. And then we're almost done for attaching. We have just attached the eyes and now we are putting in the process of putting on the legs. We have only yeah. six legs made, so we may just leave it at six. I don't know. We'll see after we curve, curl the legs and stuff. But uh, how I attach the legs. Here, you want to lift it up a little bit so they can see the bottom? Uh, Janet, I left. The just door. tip it toward me so I can see the bottom. I just want it like tipped this way. Yeah, so we can see underneath. What I did oh, was, that's, that's okay. We, we opened the flaps of the box. Okay, that's good, guys. Okay. We've opened the flap of the box, so we're attaching the legs onto the flaps really good with the tape. And so that's what we're working on right now. And I th still think we're just going to do six legs because um, it'll, be, it'll be going up against the wall um, in the show, so six is good enough. Let me move out of the way this way. Let's come this way so I can show it on the video. It's wet. And we smooth it out and we're just dipping it in a little tray of water. Let's show them how we dip it one at a time into the tray of water. And then we bring it over and we place it on. We're wrapping a leg now. And then we smooth it out to activate the plaster. And we've done this in just a few minutes, actually, with that glass. And there. Excuse me. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Lots of hands get things done quickly, don't they? Look how cool that is. So slimy. And this is the completed octopus. And we actually called him Ollie the Octopus. And when you view it with the fluorescent black lights, the pink paint almost looks like red-orange color. It blends in with the red-orange of that coral there. Um, but we did a lot of the coral 
styrofoam coral, and then I did some popsicle sticks coral to go along with this. And then, of course, the here's some seaweed cups here that we did with paper plates. Um, but this is a completed look. A lot of my second grade classes worked on this just because of the fact that second grade is my first class of the day. And I'm all excited and fresh and not very tired. So they helped me create this. Um, but it came out, I think it came out cute for kids in elementary school. And again, kids from kindergarten through fifth grade worked on this project. Um, and a lot, I had, I think, two kindergarten kids with me with a small group of kids that constructed it. And then a whole class of second graders built it with plaster along with some fifth grade classes. And then second and fifth grade also painted it with me. The only thing that I did was I did paint those black squares. So it's totally generated by kids and painted almost completely by students. And it came out fun and we, we like it. It's kind of like our art room mascot. And we did do a lot of educational videos on red octopuses and the kids are fascinated by them. Actually, even three weeks after the art show, they're still painting octopuses. Um, but we learned about the giant red sea octopus and there's a lot of YouTube videos on um, about that and they're fascinating. They're just amazing and they're very a, a very intelligent organism. Uh, but we had fun and this is the end of the show. And again, if you wanna see the black lights, what it looks like under the black lights, go ahead. I already have taken mine down, otherwise I would show you, um, but they are in my black light art show. This is some of the stuff hanging still from the show, uh, but I have a whole video on what we did with these things um, and the, the actual art show at night. And the kids got to come and use 3D glasses and see this with the 3D glasses after school. And so it was a fun event. But this was Ollie the Octopus star of our art show.